The death toll in the devastating wildfires on Hawaii has climbed to 80. Survivors, meanwhile, are struggling to come to terms on what happened before embarking on the load road of rebuilding the community. Sachin Katvi reports. Residents from other parts of the island of Maui are doing whatever they can to help survivors in Lahaina. Stories of fear and distress are now being told by frustrated residents, many of whom had no time to react when the fast-spreading fire ripped their neighborhood. The death toll now stands at 80. I watched one lady in a car who she was trying to get down through Front Street. That's my, my Jeep blew up on Front Street. As she drove between two cars trying to squeeze through and she couldn't, she got stuck and the cars were popping, just blowing up like mortars, uh, one after another coming right towards her. And we, we nobody could even get to her. The door, you know, couldn't get to the doors or the windows. She was stuck and we watched her go. I lost my condo, my Jeep, my laptop, my cell phone, uh, everything I ever owned for, for 40 years that I lived in Lahaina. Maui residents who survived the horror are left wondering why they were not alerted ahead of time by emergency warning systems. Like usually they put on the hurricane sirens or they do something to like warn us. Nothing, like everyone was just word of mouth evacuating. Many residents had to flee from multiple locations before they could make it to safety. So once we made it to a friend's house, we were told right away to, you gotta go. So my friend has kids, we threw them in the car and we went to the civic center Two hours later, like, no, you have to leave, like, flee north and you have to leave now. So we ended up spending the night in a grocery store parking lot with a towel that my friend had in the back of the car sleeping on the grass. Relief operations are underway with response teams arriving from across the United States. Vice President Kamala Harris said neither she nor President Joe Biden plan to visit Maui for now as they don't want to distract rescue and recovery efforts. Lahaina residents are now allowed to return home. They must prove they lived in the area 